<clears throat> this book is very useful. It covers three parts of IELTS speaking. For part one, the respective common questions in IELTS speaking test. Let's have a look. <clears throat> First question is what is your full name and what should I call you? This is first question in IELTS speaking test part one. Question number two, can I see your ID? And of course, there is a sample answer. This answer inspires you to give your own answer. Okay, for question number one, you will say my name is, and you will tell your nickname. For question number two, can I see your ID? Sure, here you are, yes. And they will ask you questions related to your family. They will tell you, tell me something about your family. Then you will tell about your family like that, like uh, this sample answer. Well, I belong to a simple, small and nuclear family. I am living with adorable parents and two small sisters. Of course, this is a sample uh, answer. You can get benefit from this sample. All coordinate with one another and live happy. I must say, God has blessed me with a close knit family. For question number four, what do you like doing most with your family? It depends because everyone has a different uh, enjoying entertainment. Okay, I like to have long meals, amusement, fun, and frolic. Would like to tease my sisters, sharing griefs and sorrows with them. This is a common saying. The family which eats together, lives together, and loves together is truly a close net family. Question number five, who are close to you in your family? You will tell either your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, your wife, your son, daughter, your it could be anyone, okay? It depends. I am very close to my mother. Look, you can use this expression. Uh, I am close, I am very close, okay? To my mother. A true picture of maternity, she cooks what I wish to eat. She loves and teaches me what is good or bad for me. She's really a very virtuous lady with a blend of passionate feelings for a child. After you tell who you are close to, you will give some details, some reasons why you are close to this person, why you are close to this member of your family. Okay, look, this, this guy mentioned his mother and then 
uh, explain why he feels close to his mother. She cooks what I wish to eat. This is one reason. She loves and teaches me. She loves him and teaches him what is good and bad. Uh, second reason. She is really a very virtuous lady. She is a virtuous lady. And I wish to salute this real role model. Look, he, he admires his mother and admire this wonderful creation of God on this planet. After you, you're telling who you are close to, you should give some good, some positive things about this person. Question number six. In what way is your family important to you? In what way? Is your family important to you? Okay, you will give your own reason. If we uh, if we look at this sample answer, my family is everything to me. My family. You can you can use this expression. My family is everything to me. My family is my world. My family members are my best friends and they support me in every real challenge of my life. I know they are always with me, no matter what. They are not only my best friends, but we truly are tied with strong bonds of respect, unity and strength. strength. That's why I used to say my family is my real parents' world as strength. Look, guys, in IELTS, everything you say, you have to give reasons. And we have also work. They will ask questions about your work, related to your work. Do you work or are you a student? If you, if you are a student, you will tell then you are a student, and if you if you are working, you will tell them about what do you do. I am a very hard working person. Look at the sample answer. Presently, I am doing both the tasks simultaneously. In the morning hours, I usually go for my orientation classes of language, as I am fond of learning linguistics and in the afternoon I am working as an executive in a reputed company. Either you are working or studying or both, you have to tell them to give some details about your work and study. Question number eight, what are your responsibilities at work? You will mention your responsibilities. If we look at the sample answer, my responsibilities, if, if uh, you have more than one responsibility, you have to say my responsibilities. Okay, you don't say my responsibility. Then, Okay, include keeping an eye open, uh, up, uh, open the junior executives for maintaining organizational goals and objectives and so keeping supervision over them. He mentions his responsibilities, checking their targets as well as maintaining coordination and proper communication with my main work. Through uh, commitment to work is my first and last responsibility towards work. 
related to your study. Do you work or are you a student? We mentioned this. If you if you are not working, you are studying, you will give some details about your study. Look uh, at this sample answer. I am a student at the moment. I am studying English, linguistics, and literature together, and hoping to get more and more excellence in this field. Question number two: Why do you choose what course or job? That course or job? Why do you choose that course or job? You will give your reason why did you choose this field. Honestly speaking, you can, you can use this expression. Honestly speaking, as everyone knows, English is a global language. It serves both socially as well as professionally, because what I believe socially, it is the order of the day and professionally it is a bag of handsome perks and incentives. Question number 11. What is the most difficult thing about your studies or job? The most difficult thing about my studies is its grammatical rules and lexical parts. Everyone has a difficulty in foreign language. Okay, you will mention that part. It is really difficult to remember high profile words and proverbs. Moreover, grammatical rules limits my tendency to learn the things. Question number 12. What type of study most of the students prepare these days? What type of study most of the students prefer these days? Very interesting question. We can use this uh, expression. Very interesting question. Very good question. Okay. See, the ultimate goal of every education is to earn good. So most of the students these days tend to fall upon more professionals, professional studies despite of academic ones because these types of vocational studies widen up their empirical outlook and open their uh, arenas for the professional world. This is not related about yourself, okay? This is a general question and you will give your own uh, answer, your own opinion. And we have hobbies. Uh, I think uh, we should stop here and we will continue next lesson from hobbies. Okay. And uh, if you guys joined, uh, I mean enjoyed uh, my class, you can join me. Okay. You can. Uh, contact me, I will send you the link of Zoom. You can join me and we can discuss, you can give me your own answer. It is a type of training for your IELTS test takers. Okay, guys, thank you for watching me. And please, if you like, uh, subscribe and hit the light, uh, like button and see you tomorrow.